end it. I know y'all like Vivian. Why don't you? Because y'all hell, I ain't got that. So I'm gonna be setting my hair with Blue Magic. This is a video coming up, and we're just gonna jump into this foolery, y'all. This this has been a trying year, but baby, we made it. We're at the end of the year. Thanksgiving is coming up. It's Halloween this year. This week, I'm about over it, y'all. I asked Christina. I said, Christina, you handing out candy? Christina said, I don't have time for other people's candy. She doesn't have any kids. Christine is my friend and coworker. So I asked her today, I said, are you independent not candy? She said, no, we ain't got time to be bothered with other people's kids. I said, girl, me neither. I ain't got time to be bothered with my child. And I let JB know that this would be our last year with this foolery. We didn't even start celebrating Halloween until three years ago, quiet as it kept. And yeah, I'm over it. I, I am over it we're going to go, go into any details but we're going to be having our own day the lights will be off in 2020 and so i've been building my baby up i'm like you 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 okay he's like oh yeah as long as i get my i said yes the next day you're gonna get your candy it's gonna be 50 percent off hell some of it will be 75 percent off we'll be okay um y'all we almost got in what well, we did get in trouble because jp doesn't believe in santa claus and have i told y'all this he doesn't even like yeah he'll take pictures with santa but he know he told me the other day, and I'll get back to why we got in trouble. Let me just say that now. We were over at my neighbor's house, and girl, let me do my hair. Y'all know me? Hell. We were over at my neighbor's house, and uh, he was like, yeah, and, we, and, they, and there ain't such thing as Santa Claus. And they, girl, they started clutching the pearls and like, oh my God, because he said it in front of a three-year-old. But the three-year-old didn't hear him because the three-year-old didn't even blink an eye. He didn't hear him, right? She's like, well, because he said there's no such thing as Santa Claus. I said, oh yeah, we don't do Santa Claus. And it's not even that I haven't told JB there's no such thing. It's just that I haven't made, oh, Santa's coming to town. Child, last year I did that shit. I had uh, made some cookies, bit into the cookie and put it there. And JB was like, why are you eating cookies? <laughs> JP was like, why are you eating cookies at night? I said, Santa did that. He said, mama, Santa can't even fit now. I said, child, I'm not even gonna try to uphold that myth. And I ain't got time, that's too much energy. Especially with JP, he has too many questions, shit. So I have told JP though, look, most children do believe in Santa Claus. So please don't spoil it for other children. But child, not that day. JP's like, I'm canceling Santa for all y'all. <laughs> So yesterday he was like, Santa ain't got time to be coming over here. Put <laughs> yeah, this is him talking to himself because he's so young, he still talks to himself, right? He says, Santa ain't got time to be coming over here, uh, putting his big butt through the through the fireplace, because we do have a fireplace, putting his big butt through the fireplace. What you gonna do, mama? You gonna be tired. This is my child talking. What you gonna do, mama? You gonna be tired. You gonna be up all night, wrapping my presents, putting them up. I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna open them. And y'all, you just gonna be tired wrapping. I said, this boy. So no, we, we, we gonna be canceling a lot next year. <laughs> We've already started. But even with that being said, he's like, mama, you gonna, um, you gonna buy me a new shirt for me to take a, a picture with Santa? I said, JB, I thought you we don't do Santa. He's like, yeah, but I just need the picture. I'm like, you know what? Don't say anything when we're waiting in line. Don't don't be talking about nothing. Just sit there and pretend like everyone else. <laughs> he, he is, JB is a mess, child. Let's jump into these YouTube streets. I've been looking at a little bit more TV than YouTube, but we're we gonna talk about it all. Y'all, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. So I've been watching Tony Daly from Tony and the Guy. And her husband, first of all, they're Canadians. They're up in Canada. Now, are they both Canadians or, cause I've never been sure about that. Now they have a, two, there's two channels. She has her vlogging channel and then there was Tony and the guy, which was their uh, vlogging channel as a couple. We know by now, those of you who follow them, that he, yeah, hold on, it's trash. This man is bold as hell. When I tell you the only other person that I have seen, at least on this YouTube platform, that personally I follow, that has been this bold is Daddy Tang, who I follow on Instagram. <laughs> Daddy Tang is the ex-husband of Mommy Tang, the uh, vegan mukbanger. They went through a divorce. It was real quiet though, but I still got the tea. That's gonna be in my vlog, girl. 
Anyway, back to Tony Daly and the guy. It has been horrible to see her go through this breakup and what she has been doing is sharing it as it's been unraveling. So it's been a couple of months now. What we've been seeing occurred back in February, March. But y'all, let me tell you something. When someone, as women, we love to miss those red flags, don't we? And I think a part of that is because we want to try to hold on to that, especially when it's as long as they've been together. I think it's what, 22, 23 years? You wanna hold on to that. Um, and you just can't wake up one morning and say, I don't love this person. One day you may, you know, one, one moment in that moment you may, but then later on in the day or the week, there'll be something that remind you of that person and you're have those feelings come up again, okay? So, it's devastating to see what happened. So, long story short, girl, he left her, left the country, went to Brazil for the other woman. So, I was like, what the, and they have businesses together, they have a house together. Um, I, I, I've never seen anything like this before in my life. Now, thank God they don't have any children. And someone wrote, which was really, I'm not gonna say what I really think, but this doesn't make any sense. Someone wrote, I saw on another vlog that was basically like, what's really interesting is why they didn't have any children after 20 odd years. That just doesn't make any sense. You know, I'm paraphrasing, like that's really odd. I'm like, girl, you do know that some people don't want children at all. That is very possible. Or maybe she has fertility issues, you know what I mean? So don't just assume because they don't have any children that that could be part of the issue. No. Anyway, um, so yeah, he left Brazil, but that's not even all of it, right? She was tore up. I mean, she's the vlogs are still up there. They're actually trending, right? He recently has decided to come back to Canada. Why? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Before he came back to Canada, he sent her a message talking about, um, can I get the Netflix password? <laughs> Child couldn't be me. Could not be me. Can I get the Netflix password? Then that turned into, I'm in town. Can I come over to do my laundry? And technically he can because that's his house. His name is on, that's his own, his home, right? So I guess at this point he is in, he's back in the country and you know, that area. He's in and out of the house. Um, I think other people stay there. Um, then there is this little bit of interesting chemistry slash going on with her um, best friend who is a lesbian. She's a stud. You know, she's an all out stud girl. Half. Half has been that friend. Let me tell you something. This girl has been right or dot. So if Tony's not careful, she can end up jumping into a relationship that she's this is my opinion, my opinion, not anyone else's. She's not careful, she can end up jumping into a relationship when she's not ready yet and end up not only hurting herself, but more importantly, the other person, okay? I feel that, you know, she has. She was with this man and they're going through the separation. She was with him most of her adult life. Girl, be by yourself. I'm not saying this is it, you done, be by. You have to learn how, how to be by yourself for a while. And maybe she's already done that. But um, I'm telling y'all, when I separated from my husband those six months, I was cool by myself for a while. If that was gonna be it for, for me for a while, I was okay with that. Granted, yeah, the relationship didn't end on that type of drama, but um, you have to learn how to be by yourself, learn how to love yourself before you can gump, jump into a relationship and love someone else. Because that's where I think a lot of issues um, tend to come from. Plus, she has to get through whatever she's going through right now. So, I know a couple of people have left those types of comments on her video. And I really do hope that she takes that to heart. You know, little child. So, I think that um, the other couple, Nikki and Jamie, I believe she posted recently. She's actually posted twice. And it's been a while. It's been a while, child, girl, Netflix and chill by your damn self. <laughs> it is hard work, you putting in time for a relationship, you know what I mean, for it to work out. And you both gotta want it, you know. 
is a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but um, yeah, that's what I've been looking at on YouTube. What else has been going on, y'all? I haven't been really been following any of this other drama channels or anything like that. Um, been looking at a couple of crafting things, cause that's just how I am. I'm a crafty helper. I'm looking at my notes, y'all. Um, I was watching Val Valencia. I like her, AKA product junkie. I was looking at some of her videos. She's going through some a tough time right now, but I, I really do like her. She could be crazy too, y'all. I like Valencia. I haven't heard anything else from other people. There are some other folks who haven't posted in a while. Y'all, what is that baby's name? What is her name? The one that had that issue. She has waist long hair, poor C. And she had that issue a year and a half ago where her hair started to really mat after putting Echo Style Gel. She hasn't posted in a very long time. It's been like a year. I'm concerned. Like... I hope she's okay. You know, I get people take breaks, you know. Yeah, it's been a long time since she's posted. A very long time. And then some people, I I, I hate it when some, I don't hate it. I get it. It's, life happens. It's, I'm, I almost wanted to take a break here again soon. I know I just came back though. But it just sometimes irks me when I see some of my favorite YouTubers come back and they're like, I'm back, I'm back, girl. And then three months later they post again, I'm back, I'm back. I know Border Hammer, Border Hammer was doing that, but I know she has a lot going on. She has to have a lot going on at home. So yeah, y'all, okay, y'all, TV. Let me tell you, I have been a TV watching fool. Like, I've been watching so much thing on TV and I've been binge watching stuff. I know a part of it, a part of it, I'm clocking my own tea, is that I'm avoiding doing stuff around that I need to do. Um, so recently I binge watch on Netflix a series called Daybreakers or Daybreak. And it's about these teenagers who survive um, this post apocalyptical yeah, I know I can't pronounce shit, um, end of the world stuff. I like it, but this is the thing. It was, uh, y'all know, know me, me and my semi-conservative self. The kids were cursing a lot. Like, and I get it, they're teenagers, but I'm like, do teenagers really curse like that? I mean, they, they're using like the big words. F, the F word was done a lot. They're very crass in how they're talking. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I, this is this is too much, but it was good. It was really good. I look. I'm so so um, naive. I'm like, do they have like an audio setting to where you can bleep out the curse words? Can you know like it? You bleep it over. I'm like, isn't that some high some bouquet type of stuff? No. Look, I curse, but I don't want to hear babies cursing. You know what I mean? I don't want to hear young kids like that cursing. I really don't. But it was good. If you can get past the language, it was good. Um, finished up Why Women Kill. I liked it. And the season finale was like almost two weeks ago. I ended up really liking this show, y'all. I really did. And come to find out, the black actress is actually, um, is she from the UK? Yeah. Um, but it ended up being really good. Back to watching also uh how to get away with murder i'm not liking this season first of all frank is getting beat up this is a spoiler frank got beat up looking for laurel you know y'all frank let's have this conversation real quick those of you who watch how to get away with murder do y'all think frank is a psychopath or a sociopath i know these are real life discussions right i think frank frank is crazy as hell he fine frank is crazy i think frank may be a psychopath and I know there's this misconception that psychopaths don't have feelings, uh, short feelings. I think they do, but it's, it's self-serving. Um, Frank lacks empathy, but Frank pretends, puts on this facade that he cares, but really he doesn't. It's for himself. Frank is a damn psychopath. Frank has killed more people than anybody. He, he, he has killed more people on this show Combined than anyone on his other show, um, Fear of the Walking Dead. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, back to watching Fear of the Walking Dead. I ain't gonna reveal that one because I'm a little bit upset over that. Also back to watching The Walking Dead. Let me tell you something. That entire Whisper Clan needs to take a good bath. They need to take some Dawn soap. Every time I, I see those, those people, and this is a, a group on The Walking Dead, they're called the Whisperers. They all look, first of all, everybody already looks dirty on the show. I mean, because you're walking around with zombies. But they take it a step further. They mask themselves by wearing the, the actual skin from dead. Ugh. But they all, they're always dirty. They're always wearing the same clothes, you know, sleeping on leaves and shit. You know, just dirty for no reason. No reason at all, just to be dirty. I know y'all can find an old abandoned Dollar Tree and get you some of that sun soap or whatever the hell. <laughs> you know, it's just, ugh. But I like it, good acting. Show that I just started watching and I am here for it. I have no idea why it took me so long to watch this show, y'all. I love me some true crime, I love me some, some ID. True Detective, starting Matthew McConaughey. Y'all know I have a hate-love relationship with old man. Matthew McConaughey and what is his name? No, Woody Harrelson. You need to look this up. I don't know why it's not on Netflix. It's very similar, I guess, to Mindhunter. They, it, it basically tracks the serial killer over, seven, over a 17 year span, but it goes into detail about the detective's background and their personal lives. So um, it's really, really interesting. I, I love the layers of the show. It's based, you can see it's based in Louisiana. And sometimes when I'm listening to the people, I'm like, oh, that's a good Louisiana accent, and no, 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 you don't, you don't sound like that at all. Um, but both Woody and Matthew are from Texas, I believe. Um, Woody Harrison is from Midland, and of course Matthew's from East Texas. So it's, it's just, I just love it. It's giving me every. It's a little weird. It's a little violent, not a lot. Okay, it's not extremely violent like The Wire. I remember The Wire. It's not that violent. Violent, excuse me. Um, not Breaking Bad violent, but there are some scenes where you're like, wow, that just came out of nowhere. Great acting, really, really good acting. So yeah, I'm in the middle of that right now. Ciao. Speaking of psychopaths, paths, I just finished watching Killing Eve, uh, second season. Y'all, that shit, got the first two episodes were a bit slow, but then I was like, wow, that man, <laughs> That villain, what is her name? I think her name is even Valenia, Valenia, whatever her name is. She is the epitome of a psychopath. Bat shit crazy. I could not stop laughing where she was, um, she was head to toe. First of all, while the fashions are impe impeccable, whoever is the fashion costume designer on this show, thumbs up because her outfits be insane. So she's having tea or coffee. This is the villain, right? The psychopath. She's having tea or coffee or something. Big gold earrings, huge purple bottom, this green off the shoulder sage. Just beautiful, right? She's just sitting there. So this influencer comes by and she's like, oh my God, you look fabulous. Can I take a picture of you for my Instagram? And she looks at her like, no, and get a life. <laughs> just, but just crazy, crazy as hell. Then they cut to one scene where she's with um, her manager. They're sitting in a coffee shop. And he's like, you know what? You're getting a little soft. You need to break off whatever you have for Eve because you're getting soft. And she's looking at him like, I'm getting soft. So a woman, at that moment, a woman walks behind them and she purposely trips her. She, <laughs> she purposely trips the woman and then get up, gets up and say, oh my God, are you okay? Like girl, just over the top, that shit crazy. And I'm here for it, crazy. So I finished that cause I had stopped watching. It's been a while. Is it? Season two has been done for a while, but I had stopped watching it because I was watching something else. But you know what? I need to know what is going on with these other shows. Now, I have a long laundry list of shows that I binge watched like two years ago, within like the last year. I need the shows to come back. Westworld, where are you? Ozark is coming back, I'm, I'm assuming, at the end of this year. Love the Ozark, love that show. Um, Happy Valley, Broad Church. I'm looking for dark. I'm looking for middle Jonas with his fine self. 
you know, a lot of these shows, I'm like, what is going on? I need them to come back. Um, there's another show that is French based. It was weird, but it was good. It was, it was a little weird. I finished watching that this year too. Um, yeah, y'all went back and watched one more episode of Sense Eight, and I was like, okay. I, I, I'm still not gonna, yeah, but okay, all right, all right since eight, I get it. But yeah, I looked at it, yeah, I looked at it. So yeah, real quick, yeah. Your favorite crazy cousin, Kanye West. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, because Kanye really does, and this is me being serious, I, I realized that Kanye does have bipolar disorder. And we, not to, we really need to be careful when we label people as crazy too, when they're going through stuff. Kanye, has not been the same since his mother died. Kanye West is still grieving the loss of his mother, um, which was unexpected. And she was the rock in the life for him. Um, his eyes, his, you can tell, you, if you are into it in, or intuitive, you could look at someone's eyes and tell when they're in pain and he is still in pain. There's certain glimpses of life going on there. I'm not trying to say the man is dead, but he's in, he's grieving still. Um, so y'all yeah, heard him say recently that, child, Kanye is like, um, if you wanna be working on this new album, you can be having premiere to six. So all you hoes need to wrap it <laughs> All you hoes need to wrap it up. So child, folks went crazy. Like, how the hell are you gonna tell us not to have premiere to six when you married into the damn Kardashian family? They all, except for Kim, they all have had children out of wet. Like, what, what, what are you? So this is my thing, y'all. I tend to be a person, I save my judgment. I sit back and look at things for a while before I jump in. Um, the book of Matthew tells us, you guys, that, and I looked this up. Don't think that I know how to quote scripture like that. <laughs> I looked it up, but I do, I am familiar with the verse of, basically you will know who they are um, by the fruit that, they're, that they bear. So someone can declare that they're a Christian all day long, all day from eight to five, but their actions have to align up with what they say, okay? Um, and unfortunately there are some people to this day who proclaim to be, um, a follower of Jesus Christ and how they behave doesn't doesn't align. Now let me say this: we all have our flaws, but if you're consistently showing us a different type of fruit, then you something's wrong here. So yeah, before we are quick to say he ain't no Christian, <laughs> sorry, or you know what I mean, or um, judging his actions, let's wait and see what he does. Let's see if he'll come through with it. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm speculating, but I'm waiting to see before I, and I'm not gonna judge anybody. Like, we, like again, we need to be so caught up in other people's life. And I get it, he's a public figure. But what Kanye does does not affect me at, at the end of the day. At all. <laughs> so anyway, just want to say that y'all. Let me finish my hair. Yeah, I think. Y'all been holding me back on what I'm supposed to be doing. Anyway, y'all, that is that. Not much else coming up. Girl, the holidays are here. JB repeated my, ooh, this child, these children will remember everything that you say. So the other day he was like, we just gonna be fat this year, mama. I said, have you been reading my diary? Yes, we all gonna be fat, but no. I am need to get it together as far as working out better because when the holidays come up, child, I'd be like, no, we're hibernating in two weeks. Let's just eat everything. Can't be that way. So I don't think I will be doing a traditional Thanksgiving this year. Um, I may cook my husband's, their ethnic food. And for Christmas, I'll be a little bit more traditional, but yeah, not really concerned about that. But y'all, we gotta get, get, get it together before the new year. Let's not wait to January 1st to make these goals. Let's start now in preparation for the new year. This is how I've always been. Um, and so, yeah, y'all. Anyway, I'm all over the place. When am I not? So thank y'all so much for watching. And thank you as always to all of my subscribers. Take care.